teacher Jack, your teacher in mathematics 5. How are you today? Great! Are you excited to start your today's adventure in mathematics? But before we start, let's offer a simple prayer to our Almighty God. Everybody, please bow our head and close our eyes. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life and for all the blessings. Lord, we pray, give us wisdom and knowledge. Help us, O oh Lord, to understand our lesson for today. This is all we ask and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, a blessed day to all of you. Our lesson objectives, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to visualize the circumference of a circle. Measure the circumference of a circle using appropriate tools. Find the circumference of a circle and solve routine and non-routine problems involving circumference of a circle. Before we start our discussion on our new topic for today, let's have a review first on our previous lesson regarding parts of a circle. I will flash some pictures of parts of a circle and try to identify what part is shown in each picture. Ang 
Ang Salakot Ark ay itinayo noong Enero 1177 sa ilalim ng Administrasyong Ferdinand Marcos at matatagpuan sa loob ng Bayanihan Park o dating Astro Park sa lungsod ng Angeles. Ang disenyo ng arkong ito ay hango sa isang katutubong sombrerong Filipino. Itinayo ito bilang paggunita sa kasunduang iribisa ang Military Bases Agreement sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at Estados Unidos noong isang libo siyam na raan pitong putsyam. The Salakot Ark is inspired by the Salakot Hat. Salakot Hat is the traditional hat of the Filipino. Can you imagine what is the measurement of the base of the Salakot Hat of this Salakot Ark? There are different tools that we can use in getting the measurement of circle. These are some of measuring tools that we can use in getting the measurement of a circle. We have ruler, steel tape, tape measure, and meter stick. To get the measurement of the base of this salakot, you need to measure the distance around the base. And when we get the distance around the circle, we are getting its circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. The diameter is the length of a line through the center from one edge to another. The diameter of a circle is twice as long as the radius. Radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the outer edge. This is half of the measurement of the diameter. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to the diameter. The value of pi is 3.14. Thus, for any circle, if you divide the circumference by the diameter, you get a value close to pi. This relationship is expressed in the formula C is equals to pi D or you can read it as C is equals to pi times D. C is the circumference, D is the diameter, pi is equals to 3.14. Now let's get the circumference of this saucer plate. We will use ruler in getting its measurement. In getting the circumference of the circle, first you need to find the diameter. The diameter is the length of the line across the center from one edge to another. So hanapin natin yung center ng ating circle and dun natin ilalagay yung ating ruler para makuha natin ng ating diameter. So, ang measurement ng ating diameter in inches ay 5 inches. Our given, D is equals to 5 inches. So, the formula, C is equals to pi D. Let's substitute. C is equals to 3.14 times 5 inches. We have C is equals to 15.7 inches. So the circumference of our saucer plate is 15.7 inches. Let's have another example. Find the circumference of this circle. So our given, we have diameter is equals to 15 centimeter. Our formula, circumference or C is equals to pi D or pi times D. Let's substitute. C is equals to 3.14 times 15 centimeter. If you multiply 3.14 by 15, our answer is 47.1 centimeters. So the circumference of our circle is 47.1 centimeters. Let's have our next example. Find the circumference of this circle. So our given here is radius. So we need to find the diameter. We all know that the diameter is twice as long as the radius. So we have our given radius is equals to 4 centimeter. 
Let us find the diameter. The formula in finding the diameter is D is equals to 2R or 2 times R. Let's substitute. D is equals to 2 times 4 centimeter. Let's multiply. D is equals to 8 centimeter. Now let us find the circumference. Our formula in finding the circumference of a circle is C equals pi D or pi times D. Let us substitute pi is equals to 3.14 times our diameter is equals to 8 centimeters. So, let us multiply 3.14 by 8 centimeters. We have circumference is equals to 25.12 centimeters. Let's have our word problem. Your teacher in mathematics asked you to make an improvised clock as your project. The diameter of the clock is 30 inches. How big is your clock project? Let us use the four-step plan in solving word problem. The first one is understand. We need to understand what is asked in the problem. The answer is, how big is your clock project? Next, what is or are the given? Our given in our word problem is diameter of 30 inches. Number two step is plan. To solve the problem, you need to find the circumference. And in finding the circumference, you will use the formula C is equals to pi D or C is equals to pi times D, wherein C is the circumference, D is the diameter, and pi is equals to 3.14. The third step is solve. So our solution, C is equals to pi D or pi times D. Let us substitute pi is equivalent to 3.14 times our given diameter, which is 30 inches. 3.14 times 30 is equals to C is equals to 94.2 inches. Our last step is check. To check if your answer is correct, use the inverse operation. We will just divide the circumference by the diameter. If our answer is close to the value of pi, therefore, our circumference is correct. So, let us solve 94.2 divided by the diameter, which is 30. We have 3.14. So, kung papansinin mo, same value sila ng Pi. Therefore, tama yung sagot na nakuha natin na circumference na 94.2 inches. So, the circumference of your clock project is 94.2 inches. Sa palagay niyo, mga bata, mahalaga ba ang ating natutunan ngayong araw na to? Bakit? Correct! Mahalaga ang ating napag-aralan tungkol sa circumference of a circle dahil magagamit natin ito sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay. Maaari ka bang magbigay ng halimbawa kung saan magagamit ang circumference of a circle? Great! For example, si math teacher ay nagpagawa ng project na orasan with a circumference of 32 inches Alam mo kung paano mo ito gagawin dahil alam mo kung paano kumuha ng circumference of a circle. Can you give another example? Great! Halimbawa, si tatay ay maglalagay ng circular light sa inyong ceiling at nagpapatulong siya sa iyo na kuhanin ng circumference ng circular light. Matutulungan mo ito dahil alam mo kung paano kuhanin ang circumference of a circle. On your own understanding, what is a circumference? Great! Circumference is the distance around the circle. How about the diameter? The diameter is the length of a line through the center from one edge to another. How about the radius? What is a radius? Great! Radius 
distance is half of the diameter. It is the distance from the center of the circle to the outer edge. And the value of pi is? Correct, 3.14. What is the formula in finding the circumference of a circle? Great, the formula in finding the circumference of a circle is C is equals to pi D. Or you can read it as C is equals to pi times D. What if the diameter is missing and the radius is given? How to get the diameter? Correct! You will just multiply the radius by 2. Let us answer this activity. What is the diameter of a circle if the radius is 3 centimeters? So we are looking for... Very good! Diameter. And the formula in finding the diameter is... Correct! D is equals to 2R. So, let's substitute. D is equals to 2 times what is our radius? Very good! 3 centimeters. So, 2 times 3 is equals to... Correct! D is equals to 6 centimeters. Number 2, find the circumference. So, our circle has a diameter of 6 centimeters. What is the formula in finding the circumference? Great! Circumference is equals to pi d or pi times d. So, let us solve. C is equals to what is the equivalent of pi? Great! 3.14 times the diameter and our given diameter is... 6 centimeters. So, 3.14 times 6 centimeters. Correct! It's 18.84 centimeters. Number 3, Charles has a bike. The wheel of his bike has a diameter of 8 inches. What is the circumference of the wheel? What is asked in the problem? Very good! The circumference of the wheel. And what is the formula in finding the circumference of a circle? Correct! C is equals to pi d. So let us solve. C is equals to what is the equivalent of pi? Great! It's 3.14. And our given diameter is? Correct! 8 inches. So 3.14 times 8 inches. Very good! It's 25.12 inches. Ma'am Alaline asks you to make a circular pot holder with a diameter of 7 inches. How many meters of lace is needed if you will decorate the whole edge of pot holder? So in answering this question, let us use the four-step plan. What is the first step in the four-step plan? Correct! Number one is understand. What is asked in the problem? Correct! It is asked if how many meters of lace is needed if you will decorate the whole edge of pot holder. What is the given? Correct! The given is diameter of 7 inches. What is the next step? Great! The next step is plan. We need to plan what method or strategy are we going to use. Since we are looking for the measurement of the whole edge of the circular pot holder, therefore we are looking for... Great! We are looking for the circumference. And what is the formula in finding the circumference? Correct! The formula is C is equals to pi D. Our third step is, yes, the third step is solve. So, let us solve. Circumference is equals to pi d. Now, let us substitute pi. What is the equivalent of pi? Yes, pi is equals to 3.14 multiplied by 
what is our given diameter? Yes, 7 inches. So, 3.14 times 7. Correct, 21.98 inches. And the last step is, yes, check. So, we need to check if our answer is correct. What is our formula when we check if our answer is correct? Very good. C divided by D or circumference divided by, by diameter. So, what is our circumference? Yes, 21.98 inches divided by, by our diameter which is... 7 inches. 21.98 divided by, by 7 equals, very good, 3.14. Since our quotient is 3.14, it is equal to the value of pi. Therefore, our answer is correct. The total lace needed in decorating the whole edge of the pot holder is 21.98 inches. Have you answered it all correctly? Good job! Now it's time to answer your learning task on your module. If you have some questions, don't hesitate to chat me on my messenger account or on our messenger group chat. Thank you for listening. Bye!